everyone. I am an academician. I do uh, academic research. I teach. But I was not always an academician. When I finished my PhD in 2007, I spent about four years uh, working in research and development positions in the industry. And in 2011, I was faced with this uh, dilemma of whether I want to make a, a, a very dramatic change in my career and switch over to academia. In fact, I would go to the extent of saying that uh, my industry experience provided the right, uh, the, 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 the right ingredients for ensuring my success in, in academia. When I started at UT Arlington, we were looking at some specific experimental problems for which we needed test samples that were almost impossible to manufacture in an academic setting. I was able to talk to some of the industry contacts that I had developed during my industry career. They were able to help me in providing, by providing those test samples for my students to investigate. That started a collaboration that led to a lot of journal papers that led to uh, grants from the National Science Foundation. And, and, and that really kick-started my, my academic program at UT Arlington. I also learned several traits based on my industry experience that have, uh, that have benefited me and my students very greatly. For example, the importance of teamwork. Turns out that teamwork is as, as important in academia as it is in industry. I have consciously tried to create those bridges with people from other disciplines. And I have found that those collaborations have led to some very interesting research results. Uh, not only have I tried to do it with myself, but I've also encouraged my own students to work together in teams. And I've found that their productivity improves dramatically. I have, in industry, learned the importance of self-discipline, the importance of uh, you know, creating a timeline and, and sticking to deadlines. Similarly, it is very important to document progress. Uh, when, I, when I have students working in the lab and, and, and they come upon some, some important uh, uh, discoveries or some important results, I tell them that it is extremely important for you to go back and, and figure out how you got there and document your progress so that you, one month later, or somebody else, one year later, is able to repeat those steps and get to the same conclusions. And I'm, I, I find myself lucky that I went through that experience before I became an assistant professor, because those things have helped me tremendously in ensuring the success of, of my research program. I have, I have learned in the classroom that it's, uh, it's very helpful for me to establish my authority based on, on my industry experience uh, with the students. When you say that, look, I applied these equations in this particular problem when I was working for AMD or when I was working for, for some other company. It helps me relate what they learn in the classroom with what they may be expected to do in, in their real lives. In fact, um, I've had several students come to me and say that, that look, in an applied field like engineering, it should be almost compulsory for professors to have an industry experience. So to all of those who are in, in the early stages of your careers, sitting there wondering what to do, wondering whether industry is right for you or academia is right for you. My advice to you all is to be bold, to be ambitious, and to not be apprehensive. I think what is more important is to do well in the career path that you choose. Industry and academia are certainly um, uh, complementary to each other, and success in one will certainly help you succeed in the other.